fun. Today I have a 2013 Ford F-150 and I was driving it, pull up to this house, get back in my truck, won't start. It started up and then very went very low idle and then died out. No throttle response whatsoever. Uh, so I figured something with the fuel. Uh, ended up uh, throwing an engine code which is P00C6 and another one basically saying the fuel pressure was too low. So most guys are probably go and figure out their fuel pump is dead, replace a fuel bump for 400 bucks US. But I did some research online and it is common for a lot of trucks, not just the Fords, but for this uh, fuel pump control module, just this, this little guy here. So it's uh, cost me 90 bucks after tax for this little part. It's stored right underneath the truck, right uh, attached to the frame. I just gotta drop the uh, spare tire and I should be able to swap this out. So I'm gonna do that right now. I, I've seen videos online of other trucks having this done, but I've never seen it on this gen uh, F-150. Uh, so I thought I'd make this video for anybody who runs into this issue and I'll, uh, I'll figure out what the other code was. So if you guys have these codes pop up, it's more likely this, and it, you're better off to spend 90 bucks and see if it's this first, instead of spending $400 on a, on a fuel pump, which is a lot more difficult to get to because it's inside the tank. And this is just right underneath the truck and it's just two bolts and a plug. So I'm gonna open this up and uh, see if we can get it fixed. <clears throat> so this fuel pump control module, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. Oh yeah, I can get in there. It's right there, little black box. But to get to it, it's much easier if you drop the spare tire. So drop spare tire on this truck, take your key, take out the plug from here so nobody else can steal your tire. And then you get your jack and the, the uh, what's it called? There's a couple extensions in here to throw in here. And then you just throw the end piece on here and we're gonna twist it and just twist it counterclockwise and it will bring the spare tire down. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now I got the spare tire out of the way. The fuel pump control, oh, as I get dust in my eyes. Module is right there. You can also see it from this side. That guy right there, hopefully, is our issue. I'm gonna change it out, and uh, there's a couple bolts on top. Right there, yeah. Feels about a 10, probably. Crank it off, and I'll let you guys know what, what size it is. It would have been helpful if someone else made a video, and all I had to do was grab the right size, but now I got like four or five, just in case. So I'll have to keep getting up and down. All right, let's get this done. All right, there it is. There's the old one. Doesn't actually look in terrible shape, but all the electrical components are on the inside, so you can't really tell if there's anything wrong. You could have a look inside of the plug. This one actually looks pretty clean. Always take a look on the other side. This looks, uh, looks pretty good, so no need to replace the plug here. To get this off, because it may not be totally obvious. You gotta push down right here. Right here, this is pushes down. I push it down with a flathead screwdriver. Just push down hard on that and it popped right out. There's a little bit of dirt on this side, but they keep these wires sealed pretty good, so I'm not too, too worried. Anyways, so we're gonna pull the new one out of the package, plug it in, and then before we put everything back together, I'm gonna go start the truck just to make sure this is the issue. Okay, so we're back inside the truck now. Just plug the new one in. Now, I ran the battery kind of low last time. So if we don't have an issue, turn it over, but we'll see. And just like that, starts up and runs. Now, um, hmm. I want to show you the the uh, the codes it was throwing, but uh, let me just let the engine warm up for a little bit and let the battery recharge a little bit. I don't want to turn it off and risk it not starting again because of the battery, but it worked. The fuel, the fuel pump 
driver module was the issue on this 2013 F-150. Can't really complain. You can see I have 100 and almost 158,000 kilometers on the truck and this is the first thing that has uh, ever had an issue. So I'll get those codes and then we'll wrap this back up. So basically I just gotta tighten those two bolts down and underneath the truck to hold that sucker in and uh, put that uh, spare tire back in. So all in all, it only takes about 10 minutes at the most. If you have a hoist, even faster, but uh, I'm getting out and underneath the truck. So you're gonna need a 10 millimeter uh, socket and it's gonna need to be a long one, a deep socket. So anyways, I'll get those codes for you guys in a minute. All right, so success, it worked, it's sitting there. I just got the one bolt in right now, but I thought I'd just show you. You need a 10 mil deep socket. That's what you're going to need. A little bit uh, easier to figure it out once you're, if you have the vehicle jacked up. But I'm on the ground. Nothing's jacked up. I'm just laying on the car mat on my back in my buddy's driveway getting this fixed. So all in all, a really easy fix. Just uh, the only problem is when it goes, you're dead in the water. You can't limp it to the dealership or anything. You just got to leave it, go get the part, bring it back and... Once this is out, it's quick, quick and easy. Anyways, I'll put this back in, then I'll I'll figure out what those two codes are so you guys can see them. Okay, so I'm back in the truck now, I've got it off. I've buttoned everything else back up, uh, spare tires back in, I'm, I'm totally done, but I wanted to come get these codes for you. So I'm gonna turn, truck to the on position, vehicle functions, read the codes. I'll show you exactly what I'm getting. Turn that off. <clears throat> P00C6 and P0627. Fuel rail pressure too low, engine cranking bank one. And fuel pump A control circuit open. So, if anybody has those codes, I don't know if you need to have both of them for this to be the issue but obviously it's not going to get fuel pressure if that thing's not working because that device is what tells the fuel pump to turn on and uh yeah so hopefully this video helps somebody out i'm going to go ahead and actually clear these codes so my check engine light will go away and uh yeah hopefully this helps somebody I know I would have liked it if someone had already posted a video of this on a 2013 F-150. Now, start her up again, just to show you it's still working. Like a dream, no check engine light, fuel pumps working. We're good to go, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully it helps somebody out. That's all why I wanted to make it. Anyways, good luck with your fix.